So um, I'm I'm at the I'm I'm at the Olympic Training Center. Welcome to the decorated halls of the Olympic Training Center pool. There's Rowdy Games. So many cool people. And I'm about to hop in and get a good workout in. And here we go. <sighs> Workout's going well. I can only kick lightly because I still have those injuries in my knees. They are getting better, but I am mostly pulling. But I do love swimming in this pool. I love that they have all of the past Olympic flags hanging on the walls. So from every Olympics in every country, it's pretty cool. There's something about working out here that just makes you feel good, you know? So the first thing I did this morning was I went to the gym. Did a little bit of metabolic, did a little bit of cycling, all exercises that the doctors have told me I'm okay to do. It's 6.15 a.m. Good start to the day. You guys know that I have a true obsession with nice weight rooms. Not quite on the level of my romanticism for pools, but this weight room. I really love it here. Now due to my injury, I'm very limited in what I can and cannot do right now, which has been really frustrating, but we'll get into that later. Can definitely feel the altitude. We're at about 7,000 feet roughly here. It's pretty brutal. So I did about an hour there and then I came straight here to work out. But how did I get here? Why am I in Colorado? Um, you guys remember my last video? I was hoping to do really well, but it but it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. I didn't want to end season one on that note, on kind of a downer, so this will be the season finale of season one. Remember I said I was going to visit my best friend James right after that video? Well, I did that. James wins. <laughs> James's family comes from a long line of lobstermen and fishermen, so when I was in Maine, we ate a lot of lobster. So after we catch the lobsters, we bring them in here and we put them in these crates, count them off, um, and then they stay here until they're either eaten by us or sold, and it just keeps them alive for a little bit longer. Look at yourself. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> On the other. Twist it back the other way. Kyle, you want corner to call? Hey, go listen to her. Mm. I think that's my favorite part of lobster now. <laughs> this is Wait to eat its anus. <laughs> <laughs> now my grandfather brought one in one time that weighed 20 odd pounds. Ooh. We got seven pounds of meat out of the claws. <laughs> what? The shell was like three eighths thick. He had to use a hatchet to try and get in. <laughs> oh my God. We spent a lot of time on James's family dock with a bunch of our friends just kind of goofing off. I don't know. <laughs> Me and a group of my best friends spent three days in James's cabin on Lake Liberty in Maine, which was a blast. Hey, there's Phelps. We are rafting oh. around the lake in floaties. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Joe, get over here. <laughs> Try to go as far as we can. <laughs> Come on, Kyle! <laughs> There's a boat coming! <laughs> we went tubing, which was a total blast. Really hard with just one hand. What about Kyle? If we die, you have great hair! <laughs> oh god! Woo! Woo! Oh god! Oh boy! <laughs> wow! <laughs> James successfully stood on top of Kyle on the tube while tubing, which I do not recommend. 
Then after my vacation, I went home, I saw a bunch of doctors, I saw several knee specialists, an orthopedic surgeon. They told me before I do anything else, I had to get the swelling out of my knees, so I was sent to a Korean specialist who drained the fluid from my knees. Essentially, he punctured my knees over and over again and then used heat to suck out the blood and the excess fluid around my knees. It was pretty gnarly. Relax all the muscles around there. The needle is what hurt the most, like the pricking of the needle. The oh my God, is that blood? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Unlike me, he gets a lot of massage. <laughs> then immediately after my first appointment, Puff and Lego rolled in something disgusting outside. They smelled horrible, so I had to give them a bath. You ready for your bath? Okay. Yeah. Good boy, Lego. Good boy. Get it. So I did that. This is my OTC suite. Got my own room. It's kind of nice. Got to change out of my really nasty workout clothes. I'm in the dining hall now, about to eat breakfast. After I initially had my knees drained, the procedure definitely helped, but it didn't eradicate the problem. The problem still persisted, and so I had to have several appointments. The next week, I flew to Dallas. So I'm in Dallas, Texas for a sponsorship convention, and the hotel I'm at is insane. It's got a giant dome, an indoor water park, waterfalls. It's blowing my mind. I was on an athlete panel in a really cool convention center. How many seats is there in here? Um, I think we're set up for 2,500, but I'm not sure. 2,500? That's a, that's a lot. I was also there for a photo shoot, which I just goofed around at. Dude, when you shift your arms over, do you move your hips at all? That's <laughs> stupid. Okay. Switch. Switch. Oops. <laughs> I screwed up, I screwed up. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Allie and I celebrated our one year wedding anniversary. Allie and I spent our one year anniversary weekend hunting down all of the Harry Potter pop toys. And this is most of them. This is not all of them, but this is most of them. One day we're gonna own all of them. This kind of thing just, this kind of thing just makes us really happy, you know? I started displaying them in the Harry Potter room. It's starting to come together really nicely. I'm not sure if this is my favorite wall or if this is my favorite wall. I also love this wall, and this wall. That one's Allie's favorite, Lionhead Luna. A few days after that, I had another appointment with the osteopath where he once again took fluid from my knees. I got needles in my face, in my feet, in my hands, and they're sending electrical shocks through my knees right now. It's crazy. Yeah, that's tight, I feel it tight. Mm -hmm. Slowly filling with blood. And so that was just a couple days ago. Now I'm here at the OTC meeting with all the specialists, all the doctors, all the best top people in the world for this specific kind of injury. And I've had multiple appointments. Um, yesterday they did MRIs, DEXTA scans, ultrasounds. The good news is we 100% know what the problem is. We know how to fix the different things and I have guidance, which is amazing. Also, I don't need invasive surgery, which is a huge win, very excited about that. It's gonna take several weeks from here on out to get them to heal. I'm not gonna go into that kind of detail, but I'm gonna be okay. So for the first time, I see light at the end of the tunnel and I'm feeling pretty good about it. And now I'm going to finish up all of my appointments, work out a few more times, and then I will finish this vlog when I return to Bloomington, which should be 